Thanks for tuning in to Action Trailers Tutorials. I'm Shane Thompson. Today's tutorial is going to be on our steel sided, locally built Mennonite trailers. Now, today's tutorial is to educate you, the consumer, and explain to you what makes our product different to hopefully narrow down your search so that way you know exactly what you're getting and you know what makes our product different from all the other competitors out there. Now, to start off with, as I said, they're locally built by Mennonites. That's a huge factor. These are not imported from the States there. They're locally built here. We don't have to deal with exchange rates or anything like that. So our pricing point right off the bat is gonna be very competitive on that. And the best part is you're gonna get a far better built trailer than any other US companies there. The Mennonites, they concentrate on the detail and fit and finish. And here's what I'm gonna show you. So you see from the foundation there, it's a triple tube tongue, so it's a stronger frame. It doesn't have just a single tongue or an A-frame, it's got the center bar in here, nice heavy duty support. You see on the front tongue jack, it's a side mount tongue jack, so it flips up rather than just your cheaper hand crank jacks that sit up on the front. So it's a faster option to use, as well as too, you don't have to worry about coming down and hitting your tailgate. See the front stone guard here? Looks sharp, but the main purpose is to protect it from stones and debris kicking back from your vehicle there. Always utility trailers, you'll see nothing there and they're always rusted in the front. So that's why we put this dime plate. Look sharp as well to protection. That's the whole thing about this tutorial is explain what makes our product different. And that's why we want you guys to know that. Now you see the sides here, they're a steel sided trailer, as I mentioned. So whatever you put into it, you don't have to worry about falling out. Aggregate, sand, four wheeler, junk, who knows? Doesn't matter, it's built for all purposes there. It's got a top tie down rail as well too to tie down any type of equipment. And the side height is actually 18 inches, not you know six inches or 12 inches or 15 at best like other comp companies. It's 18 inches tall, so you get a lot more uh, depth there, and as well you can put more product inside. So inside the trailer bed, it's a hardwood flooring. So again, men that I built, they don't cheap out any softwoods, hardwood tie down rings. There's four of them in the corners already, so you got lots of tie down points with the top rail as well as the D rings. Uh, on the sides here, you're going to see that we also have a nice clean powder coat finish. Gives you a nice clean powder coat finish. Lighting is all sealed in the frame. So not only is the wire sealed up into the tube so that we don't have to worry about corrosion, but the lights we use are LED. So the next step above from incandescent, LED, brighter, they last a lot longer, more efficient. Um, fenders, you'll see here, they're a dime plated fender, aluminum, not a steel, aluminum. Why? Because aluminum ones won't rust, steel ones do. And that's where it's gonna take the most abuse. Steps here on the fenders to get in and out. That's another, uh, of course, key selling point too. A lot of trailers don't have that. Wheels, you'll see the tires itself where we run on a 15 inch rubber. They're a radial tire, better compound, lasts longer, and of course, less bounce and vibration on the road. Having a bigger tire as well too, it just, that's the biggest thing is, is having a smooth ride. Um, you see trailers bouncing down the road everywhere. You use these utility trailers, especially just the cheap ones bought at the big box stores there on that. Whereas, and that's why we put the bigger tires, bigger axle even, that's a 3,500 pound axle. Um, a lot of trailers have like a thousand pound or 2,000 pound axle. The payload on this trailer alone is over 2,000 pounds. That's how much you can put inside of it. Hubs are easy lube. So that way you just stick the grease gun in. Uh, rims are powder coated silver instead of the cheap white ones. A lot of guys use white rims, which they don't look very good after a year or two. These ones are at least powder coated. The paint itself is powder coated too. So it's primed and powder coated. So it will last longer than just your standard paint job. As far as the back here, you'll see that these heavier corner gussets in the back lights, again, built into the frame there, the lights are, so that way they're sealed, protected, spring loaded gate pins in here on that. So they just open the gate pins up, ramp comes down, drive whatever type of equipment up into it, the trailer itself. Uh, sizes, this trailer comes in five by eight, five by 10, six by 10, six by 12. You can also get this model on tandem axles in 14 or 16, so it depends on how much weight you're hauling there. Um, warranty's three years on it. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of uh, the fit and finish quality differences of again, having the tie down rails, higher sides, LED lights, have your uh, axle itself, uh, radial tires, the gate standard, everything you see here is standard on the trailer. So just make sure you keep in mind all the differences. By no means, not every trailer is built the same. A lot of people think that they're just buying a utility trailer. No, you get what you pay for. So keep that in mind when you're buying your next trailer. Hope to see you by the dealership to take a closer look. Thanks for tuning in.